And I know this for a few months and it was getting worse and worse, having problems communicating. In my head, everything I said sounded perfect, but when it came out of my mouth, it was total gibberish. Up to the point when me and my soon-to-be son-in-law were sitting in the garage and I was talking to him for probably 15, 20 minutes and he looked at me and he said, Tim, I did not understand a word you said. It was all gibberish. It made no sense whatsoever. And I looked at him and I said, you know what? I've been having problems and it seems to be getting worse. Uh, let's go to the ER. So I jumped in the truck and drove myself to the ER. They just took me in and went through about three or four MRIs, CAT scans. And a couple days later, I was in having surgery and they removed the tumor out of my head, which was equal to about the size of a softball, they said. So that tumor in my head must have grown to the point where it was just putting too much pressure on this side of my head, which is, by the way, the side that handles all the communication. And then I had seven or eight little marbles on this side that they couldn't operate on, but Gilda, the radiation oncologist, radiated them and took care of them. And then they ended up finding out that um, I had lung cancer too, like 50%. My lung was full of lung cancer. And then I had skin cancer on my back. They did the tumor first, and then I started going to the Jaeger Center um, for the lung cancer. And then they radiated the skin cancer on my back because it was basal cell carcinoma, which if you're gonna have skin cancer, that's the best kind to have because it's the easiest to control and get rid of. Everything about Gilda is fantastic. I've worked over the years with a lot of doctors in everything he does, you know, how he interacts with the patients, how he explains stuff, and very good at what he does, you know, because he's gotten rid of everything. <laughs> and then Patel, fantastic woman, and how she handles herself, how she talks to you. In the Jaeger Center, the staff, fantastic. They're all very compassionate and caring and nice and always real polite. Do not give up. That's the main thing. Do not give up. That is extremely important, a positive attitude. Every day I wake up, it's a fantastic day no matter what happens. And I'm just thankful for every day I have.